first I just put on the orange corrector. I didn't really put on a foundation really. I put on like a thin mineralizing finish powder on instead because my skin wasn't that bad today. So I decided not to put any foundation on. Did my eyebrows and added some Vaseline on my lip. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna show you some makeup that I got from Las Vegas whilst I was there for my birthday. I was gonna get some more makeup but we thought our flight was at 10 p.m. <laughs> so our plan was to go back to the strip and buy our stuff before our flight and then come back to our hotel, grab our stuff and go. Luckily we decided to print out our tickets before we went out gallivanting and we saw that our flight was actually at 2.45 p.m. So yeah, we're lucky we didn't miss it. But that means I didn't get to get my product. So what are we going to start with? So firstly I'm going to start with this. 24 hour extended eye lace from MAC and I've tried it once and I did like it if you can tell there's something on your eyelids though with this eye base but it does do its job so let's try it out again I don't know if you can see that that's how it looks in the tube a bit creamy looking and it's thick trying to make it even on both eyes but quite difficult I think. Ignore that screaming kid outside, she's fine. <laughs> yeah, so it feels a bit heavy, but it's like you can you can deal with it. Let's test it out with this eyeshadow palette that I got from Sephora in the Tarte section. These are the beauty food colours. I love this palette so bad. Don't mind my picture in the background. <laughs> These colours are beautiful and they're just so, they're so neutral. You can use them for any occasion. I think mostly winter and spring will be the best times, but you know, good transition shades up in there too. So I want to go for a bit of a brown eye, but at the same time I want to use some colour. Let's zoom in. So I'm going to start with this shade here gonna be my transition shade so just gonna pack that in as I'm rubbing this in like last time I don't know if it's like I need to wash my brushes or something or if it's the primer that I put on my eye but it just feels like my eyelid is just packed with shit so hard to blend like I feel like the brush gets stuck but I like it at the same time. It's bringing up the colour more than my other pranks. Okay, next I'm gonna go out with this pinky peachy colour here. I'm just gonna go over the colour I just did. Just... And with this shade I'm gonna go in with the outer corners of my eyelid. I'm going to go in with this colour here. It's so pigmented, it just overlaps that brown that was like too much in the centre. And I'm just going to use a blended brush just to blend in the colours a bit more. And I want to darken up my crease line, so I'm going to use this colour right here. brush which is my best friend Use the same color underneath my eye along with oh the cut names are here so the color I just used here was called fashionista I'm gonna use multitasker and bombshell underneath my eye so underneath my waterline I'm just gonna go underneath <laughs> very pigmented because I did not put any primer underneath my eye and it's still coming out very strong. And I'm gonna go on to, over it with bombshell. And with this brush here and I'm just gonna rub ever so lightly. And for the inner corners of my eyes I'm gonna use free spirit which is this colour here. Usually the white, the pale colours, doesn't work for me, but this one's pretty, pretty good. I need to start watching Shayla's 
Snapchats. And now I'm just going to add some eyeliner. <music> So zooming back out, I know I look like a hot mess still, but trust me, it was worth not doing my concealer first. Firstly, because I make too many mistakes when I'm doing eyeshadow. But also, I wanted to show you this concealer right here. Now, it's not much because it was just a tester and I was meant to get the real deal the day of my flight, but you know the whole story. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer, I think it's called in the color D35. Now, this color, I think right now it's the same color as my skin. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but yeah, it's the same colour as my skin. I think I would like it maybe a, a shade lighter, which would be 33, just because I like these areas highlighted. I just love this. So I'm just going to be using my Real Technique foundation brush to get the product onto my face. I'm just going to do a small C here. <laughs> I'm gonna use my YouTube brush from Sephora. I still love this. This is always going to be my favourite brush. <laughs> The way it just looks like baby skin once you've like set it and all. Usually when you set your makeup, it looks freckly and I know that you're meant to like rub it in or make sure there's no wrinkles and stuff. But somehow it just cracks on me. But yesterday when I tried this out, dang, it was still good. <laughs> here look insane because it's like quite shiny but once you put on the setting powder it looks great it looks great man usually I like to do my highlighter first so we're gonna go in with this this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit and it is the sun dips glow kit I'm in love but I should say a little goes a long way so do not get trigger happy and rub in your brush because you will look caked with highlight. Unfortunately, when I was last using it, I accidentally kind of almost dropped it, and when I went to catch it, I digged my nail in it. So, that happened. These are such beautiful colors, look at that. I don't know, it's just so different, the shades. I love it. I'm going to use two shades today, and I'm gonna be using the contour brush from Real Techniques. So I'm going to be using bronzed, and move stone. Okay, I'm getting, okay, yeah, I'm getting trigger happy. And now moonstone. <laughs> oh, I've wanted this for so long. Okay, again. Can you see the difference in the cheek? I got trigger happy, yep. I'm just gonna add it to this side now. Stick to bronze for my nose and under my brows and for my lip as well. Last time I went a bit trigger happy with the highlight on my lip, so I'm gonna keep it calm. Summer, which is this color here, because it's looking a bit brown. I got from MAC. This is in the color Devil. You can tell from its orangey redness. This is a bad bitch. Mm -hmm. Made for a bad bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop trying shit. I was looking for a perfect orange color. So yeah, I'm gonna try it out now. Hopefully it's not too red or too orange. I hope it just looks nice, you know, because I've, I've really put my hopes up for this. So I'm gonna be using my angled blush brush from the Pinker Dot Set from BH Cosmetics to put on my blush. Makes you look flustered, but in a nice way. <laughs> if there is a nice way to look flustered. Literally, I just dabbed it a bit, I didn't touch it again. But yeah, a little goes a long way. This is gonna last me a long time. And finally, for the lips, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the color Veronica. 
now i've wanted this color for so long i must confess i'm glad i got the real deal when i went to las vegas and i just compared them before i started recording they are not the same color do not buy your makeup off of ebay because they are not real you're basically getting bumped hopefully they bring back trust issues so i can get the real deal of that because i know this color is not right and you can tell from the smell that they're not real because it just smells like you know when you buy kids makeup and they have that chemically smell a bit like they've tried to add some stuff so it smells a bit nice but it just don't smell right but yeah i'm just going to show you the real one next to the fake one so you can see how dramatically different these colors are so this is the real anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick in veronica and this is the dupe like the fake one which was meant to be real brand new bought in back or whatever they you know they say brand new out of box but you see the color is just different this is like more like a corally color on the pinky corally co color side and this is more like a baby pink i don't even know what to call it satiny looking color i don't know if that makes any sense but the fake one looks completely different to the real one I must say this color is nice it looks really nice on my little sister as well so yeah i'm just gonna add this lipstick on and i will give you my verdict on it let's get closer did you hear that it's like it was preparing me This is the color of the lipstick. I love it now. Before I was a bit upset because usually I look at Shayla's Instagram to see the colors, not just from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but from other companies as well for liquid lipstick. We're not the same color, but we're quite, not really, we're quite close in skin tone. Yeah, I always looked at her and it looked amazing on her. When I got the fake one, which I thought was real, I was like, oh, doesn't look the same. Like, I was like, the color just looks dramatically different. I didn't understand. Like, now that I have the real one, I'm really happy with the color. This is how it looks on her. Like, the color looks right. Do you see my teeth? Ah! It's lying to you guys. My teeth are yellow. Just gonna set my face now. And I always forget to add mascara, so let's do that. I wanted to show you my lips now that the product has dried down. My lips don't look dry. It looks like it's got this subtle little glow to it, which like kind of highlights the lip in a way. I just think it looks really nice. I love Anastasia's lipsticks. They never like completely dry out your lip. And yeah, it looks great and it stays on very long. So these were all the products that I got from Las Vegas, including the Kat Von D concealer as a tester. I promise Kat Von D that I will buy. Brought to you by my buy two even, because I love it so much. I'm so happy with my buy from Las Vegas. Sephora people were really nice and helpful. Yeah, they just made me feel really welcomed. There was unfortunately one product I wanted to get, which was the Malakul Jout oil from Tarte. It was just nowhere. I went to three different Sephoras and they didn't have it. It was sold out. But yeah, I'm gonna buy the Kat Von D concealer and probably the foundation as well because the concealer works so well if you want to see that just let me know thank you for watching like and subscribe follow me on twitter and instagram my twitter is denise Owegby. i will put it here and my instagram is denise underscore oz which is here keep watching not this video, you know, go on to the next one because I, th this video is finished now. And stay classy. Yeah, I heard, man, shit. Why you do that, Apple? Why, why you gotta do that? I know he sent me a goddamn message. Story time coming soon, by the way. But seriously, I, I, I've seen that I've got a message. Why do you have to bing again like they've sent me another message? Don't do that. Hit the guy.